When you start drawing a polyline or a curve, the control points are locked to the red-green axis, and that's a good thing. Usually you want to start drawing a curve flat on a surface. But there do come times when you want to create a truly three-dimensional polyline or spline. And you'll find that you can't really do that very easily unless you have geometry to snap to, like this. Move this up there by snapping to it. But what if I wanted to move this point up in the blue direction? If I try to do it, all I succeed in accomplishing is moving this around on the red-green plane. That's because axis lock is on, and that's indicated by the black square. On the Mac, press the Option key, and on the PC, press the Control key to toggle out of axis lock mode. Now the cursor is a hollow black box, indicating that I have the ability now to set one of the axis locks with the arrow keys. I'll press the up arrow to set the blue axis lock, and the cursor changes to this blue arrow. Now I can move it up. If I press the left arrow, that would be the green axis toggle. And of course, the right arrow is the red axis toggle. The down arrow goes back into the black mode, and I can press the Option key again to toggle axis lock back on. Axis lock works a bit differently when you're creating control points. Let's just review the line tool. If I draw a line in the green direction, the actual segment highlights in green. If I draw a line with the polyline tool, that doesn't happen. But you'll notice that the black dot kind of jumps when it comes close to the green axis. This indicates an axis lock. There's even a tooltip that tells you that you're on the green axis. So we do have the ability to lock axes, but you can't hold down shift to lock an inference. If I want the next point to be directly above that, I can't reference this point off of the box. I could snap to it directly, but I can't reference the point like you can with the other SketchUp tools.